to begin painting, attach and tighten the sprayer hose. Attach the other end of the sprayer hose to the spray gun. Remove the tip and tip guard to begin priming the system. Ensure that the gun trigger lock is set to the locked position. Next, separate the suction and priming tubes. Place the priming tube into a waste bucket and the suction tube into a bucket full of water or flushing solvent. To ensure successful priming, push the prime button three times. Next, set both the pressure control knob and spray switch to prime. Plug in and turn the power switch to on. If the pump does not start, rotate the pressure control knob towards spray. Run until clear water exits the small priming tube. You may have to cycle the prime spray lever multiple times to completely free the valve. Set the spray gun trigger to the unlocked position and begin to spray. Turn the spray switch to the spray position and continue to pull until water exits the gun. Release the trigger and engage the trigger lock. The pump should run for a short time and then stop as the system reaches the spray pressure. Set the prime spray knob to prime. Water should flow from the return hose into the waste bucket. Next, move the spray gun to the waste bucket. Unlock the trigger and pull the trigger. This will release any pressure in the hose. Release the trigger and set the lock. You have now successfully completed priming your airless sprayer. Ensure that your pump is off and the spray gun trigger is locked. Attach the spray tip and spray guard to the spray gun. Tighten the tip by hand. Use the included wrench if needed to lightly tighten the nut. Do not over tighten the nut or the tip seal may be damaged. Rotate the tip to the clean position. If required, strain the paint to remove large particles. Remove the suction hose from the water bucket and place it into your paint pail. Ensure that the prime spray lever is set to prime and turn on the pump. Water will begin to flow from the priming hose. Once there is paint exiting from the hose, turn the spray lever to the spray position. The pump should run for a short time and then stop. Unlock the gun trigger and spray into the waste bucket. Continue to hold the trigger until the water turns to paint. Then release the trigger and engage the trigger lock. The pump will run for a short time and then stop. If there is paint leaking from the tip nut, lightly tighten the tip holder using the wrench. Rotate the spray pressure to the maximum pressure and rotate the spray tip to the spray position. Direct the spray gun at a spare piece of cardboard or wood, about 10 to 12 inches away. Unlock the spray gun trigger and pull to create a fan spray pattern. Once you are satisfied with the pattern, release the trigger and set to lock. You are now ready to spray. If the spray tip becomes clogged, clear it by turning your airless sprayer off. Adjust the nozzle on the spray gun to the clean setting and switch the spray knob to the spray setting. Turn on your airless sprayer and spray into a waste bucket until the clog clears. Once the clog is cleared, release the spray gun trigger, rotate the nozzle on the spray gun back to the spray setting and return to painting.